Here we are asked to find the area of this figure here in green color. So if you look here, the figure is a triangle, so that means we are asked to find the area of triangle PCQ. Let's take the green color out so we can have a clear vision. So what's the formula for the area of a triangle? The formula for the area of a triangle is half base times height. So what are the base and the height of the triangle? To know the base and the height of the triangle, we need to know what type of triangle it is. And for that, we need either the length of the sides or the sizes of the interior angles. Let's come back to this information here. They say this shape here, ABCD is a parallelogram. And that implies that this line BC here is parallel and equal to this line AD here. This line AB also parallel and equal to this line CD. Here X equal to 2Y. So you can go ahead and substitute it here. And that this line BQ bisect this angle ABC here meaning it divides it into two equal half. So that means this angle ABQ and this angle CBQ are equal. So since this must also be equal to 2Y. So now if you look from this triangle here, we can find the length of this line here, line BQ. Since we have the length of this side as 10.4 centimeters, but for that we need the sizes of the angles of the triangle. But what are the sizes of the angles? We don't know. But this here is given as 2y. This here 2y. Here y and this also y. So since this is a parallelogram, there is a rule that states that the sum of any two adjacent angles of a parallelogram must be equal to 180 degrees. So that means the sum of this angle and this angle here must be equal to 180 degrees. So this angle here is made up of this and this. Here also this and this. We can form an equation that 2y plus 2y plus y plus y equal to 180 degree. 2y plus 2y plus y plus y equal to 6y. So 6y equal to 180 degree. To find the exact value of y, we divide both sides by 6. So here 6y over 6 equal to 180 degree over 6. Here 6 cancels 6 and here 180 degree divided by 6 is 30 degree. So y equal to 30 degree. Substituting y equal to 30 degree here, this angle equals to 30 degree, this also 30 degree and here 2y equal to 2 times 30 degree which is 60 degree. Here also 2y equal to 2 times 30 degree which is 60 degree. So since this is 30 degree, this here 60 degree, this must be equal to 180 degree minus 30 degree is 60 degree. Because the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree. 180 minus 30 minus 60 is 90. So that means that this is a right angle here. And since this is a right angle, this triangle ABQ here is a right angle triangle. So now, since triangle ABQ is a right angle triangle and we have the length of this sides and the sides of the angle, we can use the so tour to find the length of this side here. So from this angle here, this side is opposite because it's facing the angle and this here is the hypotenuse because it's facing the right angle and this here the adjacent. So from this here, then theta equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Theta equal to 30 degree. Opposite is line BQ and adjacent is 10.4 centimeters. So then 30 equal to line BQ over 10.4. Making line BQ the subject of the formula, line BQ equal to 10 30 degree times 10.4. Then 30 degree equal to 0 0.5774. 0 0.5774 times 10.4 is 6.00496, which approximately equal to 6. So we found the length of this line BQ here to be approximately equal to 6 centimeters. So now coming back to this triangle here, 
of which we are asked to find its area since we have the length of this side here and the size of this angle here if we have the size of the other angles of the triangle we can use that to find the length of the two other sides of the triangle so let's see from what we have if we can find the sizes of the angles so back at the parallelogram ABCD we know that in a parallelogram opposite angles are equal in size so if you look this angle is opposite to this angle here and this is made of 30 degree and this 30 degree here so this must be equal to 30 degree plus 30 degree which equals to 60 degree so from this triangle here since this is 60 degree and this is 60 degree this must be equal to 180 degree minus 60 degree minus 60 degree because the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree 180 degree minus 60 degree minus 60 degree is 60 degree so this angle here equals to 60 degree so since all the three angles of the triangle are equal that means the triangle is an equilateral triangle and in an equilateral triangle all three sides are equal in length so that means since this is six centimeters this and this are also six centimeters so now to find the area of triangle recall our earlier formula that area equal to half base times height so since the triangle is an equilateral triangle we can take any side as the base so let's take this line BQ here as the base. So line BQ equal to 6 centimeters. So the base equal to 6 centimeters. So to find the height, we can draw a line here representing the height of the triangle. And we know that the height is always perpendicular to the base. So that means this here is a right angle. To find the heights now, we can take just one part of a triangle now. Let's take this part here. So since this angle here is a right angle, this triangle is a right angle triangle. So using the Sokatoa, from this angle here, this here is the opposite, this here the hypotenuse, and this here the adjacent. Here, sine theta equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Theta is this 60 degree here. Opposite is this line here, which is the height. So we can let it equal to H. Hypotenuse is 6 centimeters. So sine 60 degree equal to H over 6. Making H the subject of the formula, H equal to sine 60 degree times 6. Sine 60 degree is 0 0.866. So now h equal to 0 0.866 times 6. 0 0.866 times 6 is 5.196. So h equal to 5.196. Now we found the height of the triangle BCQ to be equal to 5.196. And we have the base here as 6 centimeters. So substituting this value into this R equation here, half base times height, to be equal to 1 over 2 times 6 times 5.196. Press your calculator equal to 31.176 over 2. 31.176 over 2 is 15.588, which approximately equal to 15.6. So the area of this triangle here in question is 15.6 centimeters square.